Greetings and salutations, my name is Olivia and this is my new channel and I thought what better way to start a booktube channel than by doing a book haul so that's what I'm doing today and I hope you guys enjoy. So four of these books are from the library and then four of them are from the thrift store and then one of them I won in a giveaway. So starting with the library books, I have Colorist Sukuru Tazaki and His Years of Pilgrimage by Haruki Murakami and it's basically about this guy who's in his 30s and he doesn't have friends because he lost his group of friends in high school. They just, for whatever reason, they just like stopped talking to him and he doesn't know why. And so basically the book's about him like trying to figure out why. And yeah, I've already read this actually and I enjoyed it and I'm not sure. Wait, the characters aren't very memorable. I honestly don't see the point of like a bunch of stuff that was in here. But for some reason, I still gave it, like, four stars on Goodreads because despite, like, it not being exactly memorable, I was never bored once. So that says a lot. The next book I have is Cities of Saints and Thieves by Natalie C. Anderson. And this is a fairly new release. Um, it takes place in Congo, is it? Um, yeah, I think Congo. No. They're refugees from Congo, but um, it basically follows a girl named Christina or Tina or Tiny Girl. She goes by many names. And her mother got killed about four years ago while they were living and working for this very prestigious family. And she wants revenge. She has been living on the streets for four years in a gang. And they basically try and ruin the guy's life. And... Things don't go exactly as planned, and I will be doing a book review on this. Next, I have The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, and again, I've already read this. Um, it's about this girl, and her family is are illegal immigrants from Jamaica, and it's her last day in America whenever she meets a boy named Daniel, and he's a um, first-generation Korean-American, and it's a very cheesy love-at-first-sight book, and... I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to, but I didn't not enjoy it either. It's a very important book, I think. I will be doing a book review on this one as well. And then the last book I have from the library is The You I've Never Known by Ellen Hopkins. And again, this is a fairly new release. I think it came out in January. And I read this all in one sitting. It is all written in prose, except it's not. <laughs> it's not all written in prose. Um, it's written in prose, and then it's also, like, very short little journal entries from a de a nah, <laughs> from another character. And, um, it follows a girl named Ariel, and basically she's trying to, like, figure out her sexuality. She, she knows that she likes her best friend, but she's also starting to fall for this other guy, and she doesn't really know how to react to that. And her father is very abusive and just awful, and... I really liked this book. Um, during the scenes where she was with her father, I like I actually got just like super anxious because he scared the crap out of me. Despite him being a fictional character, it was just like written in a way that was like so real and that like you know this is happening and it's just heartbreaking. And I'm doing a book review on this one as well because I really did enjoy it. The next book I have I won in a giveaway and it's called Capricious by Gabrielle Prendergast and it came out a couple years ago and it came out a couple years ago but um I guess they're like relaunching it in paperback because it was only in hardback before and so I won this and again it's all written in prose and I really liked it I really liked it and I don't know like it was just really good and um it kind it dealt with like female sexuality like a teen girl's sexuality without her, like her enjoying sex and her not being apologetic and being like this is wrong it's her being like okay like despite the fact that like my religion says it's wrong i like it and she's not like hating herself about it and i feel like that's really refreshing because in so many books it's just like the girl being so apologetic about the entire thing and I'm so tired of that. So I really enjoyed this. Um, also it's a beautiful cover and I recommend it. And then I got The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. 
And this is a book I've been wanting to read for a very long time, but just never got around to it. But um, I actually just finished it today, and I thought it was going to be my first five-star book of the year, but I think I gave it three stars because I liked it, but then I didn't, and then I did again, but there was too much of me just being like, mm. So, <laughs> yeah, it's not bad, and I really enjoyed it, and the character is definitely memorable, so there's that. Next I have Exit Here by Jason Myers. I have no idea what it's about other than I've been seeing this in bookstores for years and I'm always drawn to it because it's not a normal sized book, it's like rather small and then the spine is like very pretty, it's got the gradient and it's just, it's a beautiful looking book. I have no idea what it's about and um, I was like reading a couple pages and I'm honestly not sure if I'll like it just because of the like the narrative voice. So if I don't, I'd probably just give it to my sister because I think she'd probably like it. And then I have Orange is the New Black, My Year in a Woman's Prison by Piper Kerman. This is obviously what um, Orange is the New Black, the Netflix series, is based off of. I've been wanting to read this for a couple of years too. I don't know why, but I did. Like, despite the fact I was like 12, I wanted to read it. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this because I like the TV show, although Piper is actually my least favorite character on that show, so this should be interesting. The final book today is Kafka's Selected Stories, and it's basically just a compilation of Franz Kafka's stories and like there's letters and stuff, and I have only read The Metamorphosis by him. I read that in class last year and I adored it, like I wanted to cry, it was so beautiful. And I've been wanting to read more of his work, and so I saw this, and it was only $3, so absolutely. <laughs> but these are all the books I got in March, and I've already read most of them. And then the others, I'm probably going to take my time reading. I'm probably just going to flip through them at random. And, yeah. So those are all the books I have today. I do hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know quite what I'm doing. I'm The editing's probably going to be really choppy, and... Obviously the lighting and the camera just everything's not great, but I'm going to try my best and I'd love any input from you um, if you guys have read any of these books and like have any thoughts or anything I'd love to hear them. Um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye